Hey, good Tuesday evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Molly Matat with your forecast update. We've kept the weather dry and mild for the past couple of days. I think we've got one more day for you to enjoy these above average temperatures. Here's your fast cast real quick for tonight into tomorrow. It's another chilly night, and that's thanks to clear skies. Any heat that we saw during the day escapes quickly. Temperatures are already starting to fall, and overall will probably round out around the 34 degree mark here in Syracuse, but in outlying areas and in the valleys, it'll likely be just a touch cooler, maybe some frost, maybe even some patchy fog, so just keep an eye out for that. That means it's a chilly start yet again to your Wednesday. Then as we head through the second part of the day, you'll notice a few changes. Temperatures are warmer still than they were today. We'll see clouds gradually increase into the afternoon, and the breeze is going to pick up as well. We even have some advisories that go into effect late tomorrow night. And here's why. That area of high pressure that's kept our weather so nice for the past couple of days is moving off to the northeast. It's going to lose its control over our forecast. The circulation around it is going to help usher in warmer air for Wednesday. Highs in the upper 50s. We should be topping out in the upper 40s for this time of year, by the way. Our next big weather maker, still off to the west. It is on our doorstep by very early Thursday morning. However, I wouldn't rule out a chance of a stray shower here and there as late as after midnight on Thursday. Could see some activity fill in out ahead of that front. That passes through during the day on Thursday. It is wet, it is rainy, and it's also pretty windy as that front moves through. Then behind it, much cooler air works in, and you can see it on the seven day forecast. We won't get out of the 50s for Friday with some showers up to the north. Then we're looking at a chilly weekend. Temperatures struggling to be into the upper 40s by the end of the day on Saturday. On Sunday and Monday, two chilly days at 42 degrees apiece. As that cold air moves over a still relatively warm Lake Ontario, we're going to have to keep a close eye on the lake effect activity, especially in those overnight hours when temperatures get really chilly. We're going to have to watch for some bands of lake effect rain and some snow. You can always stay updated on the latest on your forecast and any alerts online at cnycentral.com. We'll see you.